Welcome to my educational video of a shoulder arthroscopy with debridement of calcific tendonitis. This patient's right shoulder had severe pain with all motion that had been present for many months. The right shoulder was x-rayed and it showed a very large deposit of calcific tendonitis visible in the supraspinatus tendon of the rotator cuff. A MRI was done to evaluate the integrity of the cuff tendons as well as to help localize the deposit. The arthroscope is introduced into the shoulder and after a systematic exam is completed, a small degenerative type of labral tear is identified and treated. The undersurface of the rotator cuff is visualized as well and it shows hyperemic and vascular rotator cuff with a large number of small blood vessels visible. This appearance as seen here is classically associated with calcific tendonitis. Upon completion of the intraarticular portion of the procedure, a bursectomy and a decompression is completed if indicated in the subacromial space. The top portion of the rotator cuff tendons is then thoroughly examined to identify the location of the calcific debris that was clearly seen on the x-rays. The rotator cuff is probed and the area of calcific tendonitis is identified and decompressed. The calcific debris often has the consistency of toothpaste as you can clearly see in this video. This is an extremely large deposit as we could see on the initial x-ray. The shaver is then used to unroof and debride the area. There still appears to be a fairly large amount of calcium remaining on the tendon and a probe is used to express this calcific deposit. The remaining portion of the calcific debris is removed and in addition to that a small superficial layer of the rotator cuff. Care is taken when debriding the calcific debris to only remove the diseased tissue and leave as much of the normal rotator cuff tissue as possible. If the disease is extensive and invades too much of the rotator cuff, a rotator cuff repair is then completed. This was not necessary on this patient as the rotator cuff is probed to be sure that there is no remaining calcific deposit and evaluate the integrity of the remaining tendon. An examination of the subacromial space is done looking for any debris that's floating around. Once found, it is removed. The rough edges of the rotator cuff that were created are then smoothed out with a vaporizing wand. Most patients notice dramatic pain relief within days of the procedure.